Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here with Joe McGrail. Joe, a solid six rounds under your belt. Probably the fight was a little bit closer than you wanted, but how do you assess your performance? Um, yeah, as I said then, um, I feel like it was an awful performance by um, by my standards. Um, I'm well better than that. And even though I got the win, and obviously by a couple of rounds, I feel like I um, made a lot of mistakes in there. Like for myself, I um, feel like I'm... Big respect to uh, Ryan Walker, but I feel like I'm levels and levels above him, and I should be dealing with him pretty easy. And I made it hard in there, and um, yeah, I'm not happy with it. But you know, to win at the end of the day, and um, it's onwards and upwards. Can you pinpoint what 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 went wrong in there for you? Can you pinpoint anything in particular? Yeah, I just um, I just went let my hands go. My coach was telling me in the corner, um, let your hands go, let your backhand go, and just sort of let it flow. And um, I weren't doing that. My feet felt slow. Um, and yeah, I just, 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 just felt sluggish in there, and um, yeah, they should have just let me hands go a lot earlier. Um, I let me hands go a bit in the last, and you know, I, I hit them a couple of times in the last round, but yeah, um, terrible, terrible by myself. But you know, win at the end of the day, and looking forward to um, the next one. Well, that is, it is a win at the end of the day. Now, your last three fights have been early: first round stoppage, second round stoppage, first round stoppage. So to get those eight rounds under your belt in your first eight rounder. That's a valuable positive to take away from it. Definitely, yeah. And, um, I knew I could do eight rounds comfortable anyway because I've done it a, a, a lot of times in the gym, but obviously it's different under the light. So, yeah, that's a positive I can take away from it. Um, yeah, um, on to the next one. Sometimes when, for young fighters, they, to, to see what kind of fighter they are, they need to go through adversary, whether it be sticking points in their career, getting hit with big shots and see how they recover from Because he did land a big right hand on you and you recovered from a bit bounced off you, basically. So it's good to see that as a young fighter, you can go through these adversaries and get back and get the win. Yeah, definitely. You know, he, he, he caught me a few times in there, um, a couple of big ones as well. So I showed that I can take a, I showed that I can take a shot as well. But... You don't want to do that. No, I, I, I um, don't want to take too many of them. Like, yeah, took a, took a few too many tonight. Your brother Peter, obviously, he's you, you shared the bill with him your, prof, your whole professional career, I believe, and he's up again tonight, coming off uh, a loss. How's he been looking? What's his mentality been like after that loss to Jericho O'Quinn, and then going into the, uh, tonight's fight? Yeah, he's looking better than ever in the gym. Um, he's going to put a lovely, um, lovely boxing display on uh, later on tonight. Um, and yeah, after that loss, um, not much has changed really. Whenever he's been beaten in the past, which is not many times at all, a handful of times, um, he's always came back stronger and it doesn't really doesn't really phase him to be honest. He doesn't like doesn't knock his confidence if anything. It just sort of gives him that bit between his teeth a bit more to um, bounce back better. And um, yeah, he's going to see a um, lovely lovely display of boxing later on. What kind of pressure of what kind of pressure do both of you feel being on this, the same bill? Obviously, you've got your fight, but I know you and Peter are very, very close. You are brothers, obviously. But what kind of pressure is there that knowing that your your brother's going up after you? Do you feel any pressure on that on that front? Uh, yeah, obviously, I've got man of the way there. Um, the nerves for my own fights are gone, but um, they'll start to creep in when, it, when um, he starts warming up for his run and he uh, obviously gets in the ring. They'll come back then, so it's a bit of... Um, it's a bit of up and down over the night, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it's a good night. Back to you then, for Joey, obviously. I know you want to get back and obviously see your brother you before. Uh, obviously, get back and see your brother Peter there. Obviously, if that was probably a poor performance in, in your own words, mate. But when are you out next? When would you like to bounce back and uh, put on an absolute perfect performance again? Yeah, just uh, as soon as possible. And, um, yeah, just as soon as possible. Um, probably going to be the summer... Um, Little week off now, maybe, and then back straight back in the gym and um, just waiting on the phone call for the next one. I'll do good. I, I said last one, but I'll make this the last one. Nick balls up against Ray Ford, a gym mate of yours, Nick. Um, he probably should have won that WBC title when we were out in Saudi Arabia there, but he's got another opportunity to become a world champion. How does he feel against Ray Ford? Yeah, um, Nick should be world champion. He should be WBC world champion. Um, so it should be a unification, that one, really. But happy that he's um, obviously he's got back to back title shots there, Annie, and. Um, I'm caught at Ray Ford's an um, unbelievable fighter, but so is Nick, and I, I believe Nick's going to um, will be too much for him on the night. I think he'll be too strong and um, powerful. Joe, I won't keep you much longer. Go and see your brother, and I'll speak to you in the next I'm one, man. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, brother. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.